In the past few weeks, I've been finishing the rendering and compositing for Tasteful. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw some frames and shots that I post here and there. But today I wanted to talk about how I rendered the film. What render engine did I use? How did I structure my render layers and shaders? And also how I ended up using a render farm for a large portion of the rendering. So let's jump into the technicals. As you probably know, I made the entire film in Maya. And after considering different rendering engines, including Maya's own mental ray, Andre, our lighting and rendering guy for Tasteful, convinced me to try Redshift, which is a GPU based render engine. What I found appealing about that is that I basically only needed to have a really good graphics card and it will do all the work, which could be cheaper compared to a high end processor. It also meant that I had a good reason to make my computer awesome for gaming but that was just a bonus. So I bought a GTX 1080, which is not top of the line by any means, but still a great card. And my renderings were not bad, taking anything between 10 to 30 minutes per frame. We basically used five different shaders for all the objects in the film. One was our default material, which we used for most of the objects. One that was like the default one, but with a little bit of reflection. One that is much more reflective for a more plasticky look. One for metals and one for skin. Now, even though many of the characters don't really have have skin, but rather fur, feathers, or scales, we use that material for all of those purposes, since we're not really going for realism here. Then I had to take these five materials and assign them to all the assets using different colors. And then our film was ready for lighting. There were a few objects that needed different shaders, like the objects that had some kind of a texture on it, mainly the signs. And for that, I just used the default material with an image texture on it. So for the lighting, we used a very basic setup consisting of a main directional light that I rotated to fit each shot, depending on which way the character was facing. And then I sometimes added another light if the shot took place in a dark place that was blocking the sun, like inside the food trucks. Also, I would sometimes turn off the cast shadow option on the trucks so that the lighting would come through instead of having to deal with a very dark interior or lighting it inside. Then I would usually split the shot into a background layer and a foreground layer, occasionally adding a third layer if there was a case in which a character was very close to the camera. Then I rendered an EXR file with the usual suspects for passes diffuse, global illumination, reflection, refraction, ambient occlusion, depth mask, motion vectors, normals, position, and subsurface scattering. We then take the EXR file with all the passes in it and bring it into Nuke for compositing. As for the rendering itself, like I said, I started out rendering by myself with my GTX 1080 and it was fine, but I realized it's gonna take way too long and I'll be wasting a lot of time waiting for the renderings to be done. So I then remembered I was approached by Fox Render Farm about a year ago asking me if I'd be interested in checking out their service. I had no need for it back then, but now that I was sitting around waiting for renders to be done, I thought it might be a good time to check back with them and test out a render farm service for the first time. These guys were super helpful and while they did give me a nice amount of rendering credits to test their service, they did not sponsor this video or expect anything in return. As you know, we don't do any sponsorships here, but since I really liked their service and actually ended up paying myself for the remainder of the renderings, I thought I'd tell you guys about the experience. It was a bit intimidating at first. The app seemed like it would be very complicated with a ton of settings, but that's just because it's meant to work with pretty much any software. I was using Maya and Redshift, so I had to set up a project with those settings, selecting the version of the programs I was using, and then all I had to do was drag my Maya file into the app, wait for it to analyze it, and start rendering. Then the rendered images just showed up in a folder in my computer. It was quite magical. If you're still intimidated, which I definitely was at first, you can hop on Skype to use their live chat help desk, which I did, and they talked me through all the steps till my rendering started. I should say it's not cheap. One complicated shot cost me about $100 to render, so that's definitely something to take into consideration. But in terms of time savings, I was able to finish a render in about an hour that would have taken me over two days to do on my own. So I chose to use it for the really heavy and long shots. I'm now happy to say that the renderings are done and I'm pretty close to finishing up compositing, so I think it's safe to say that the release date is very close. I hope to make the official announcement soon.